Hello, welcome to my tube. There was just a 5.2 in Papua New Guinea. My name's Marge, I'm a Hale Empath, and I just like having these little talks on the way I feel about things and being Hale being kind of empath. You're always feeling some kind of way. I'm always feeling some kind of way, or I'm trying to transmute feelings. These are my feelings. I'm not going to feel this. I'm not going to feel this fear. I'm not going to feel this pain. I'm not going to feel this misery. It's not mine because I know in my current situation, I'm good. I am at peace. I am serene. Mom's good. The dogs are good. <sighs> had a rough night. Rough night. Is weird. Is one of those things that you had a dream. When you have a dream, then you wake up to the reality. Ah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Those are easier to, for me to deal with. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, and then somebody freaking accused me of channeling freaking Satan, and that was just fucking lovely. I hate. It's just like what do you, you know? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What what can you do? What do you do? I started this channel freaking four video, video four years ago as 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 a means to keep me out of my head because it's a dangerous neighborhood up there. I'm an alcoholic. So I can't take medications to get my mind all right. Cause my mind ain't right to begin with, according to scientists. <laughs> it's a disease, it's a disease. It's, it's it only causes disease when I feel powerless and I don't have faith and I don't have faith, gratitude for what I have in my life. That's when when my my con contents contents allows lower vibrational frequencies to come in is when my faith is thwarted. When my ego steps in and I get that I get scared and I got scared now I got it I gotta act like I'm not scared all the time because mom's starting to pick up on it she woke up this morning she's like do we have to move today Fuck. no mom not today we got a while mom I'm tired of crying all the time. I'm ready to get... I'm ready to get... Savage on this shit, you know? Just handle it, you know? It's just like, if I don't have... You know? And this is the part that I have to do it different. Everybody has an opportunity on this planet right now to just live different. Don't stop living in fear, man. They're freaking... They're... 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 they're the fearful people are making it hard for the peaceful, us peaceful ones. And then we're going to start getting annoyed in us peaceful ones. You don't want us peaceful ones out in the street because we already done fucking been through hell. Okay? We've been through it and you people are creating it for fun. Just a small percentage of the population of the control freaks that are... Well, let's just... Let's see how many people we don't help and let's see what happens to society, society when the, the cracks get so wide and so many people fall in you know because there's more people without support systems than with yeah every homeless person in the street that lives in the street whether you know you know it's because somebody didn't help them it's because somebody or some entity that pays themselves billions of dollars a year just didn't help them. It's not. I don't want to help you. So you just go, go, go shit in the in the gutter and go freaking, you know, live like a freaking animal. You know, well, have that attitude. But now everybody's gonna start living like animals because now you got up in Portland, you have people making Molotov cocktails and freaking, you know, no regard for life. None, none, no regard for life. So when God starts seeing people act without regard for life, then you know, if we don't care, what, what, why does God care? Why does God care about all these people? Fuck, we don't. We don't. We're the, supposed to be the custodians of the fucking planet to keep the planet healthy and vigor. We're the one with thumbs. We're the one with intellect, free will, free choice. 
but you have these gross cities that just said no money's more matters more than people let's let's make up some paradigms like military and let's impose threats and tell 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 the people of the country that that they need to be to fear so they give us all of our, so so there is justified of we taking all their taxes so then we go over and create military conflicts and blow shit up and kill people and stuff like that all for the, our own safety and they did this for 250 years and now the gig is up we want to live in a peaceful world where we go one we go all we're all connected people are tired of it people are freaking fed up man that's why they're fighting in the streets well, I don't know. I see those people fighting in the streets a little bit different. I, I all those people I see fighting in the streets, oh, they're I see them as the awarded ones. Is what happens when you get all the awards? When everybody gets an award, I never got awards when I was a kid. I was a I was retarded. That's what they classified me as. There was no hope for me. The people, the society gave up on me a long time ago. But the thing of it is, is I had gumption, and I have moxie, and I have spirit, and I always set my goals and accomplish my goals and then I don't know ever since I moved it it's just weird since I got to Oregon it's just weird you know and I never bought into that shadow band shit and I never bought because I never figured I was that important you know but then I mean I'm like when I couldn't get a job at like anywhere like a Rite Aid or nothing I mean with my freaking resume really I'm like oh okay well, it doesn't have anything to do with what's on your resume. Nothing it has anything to do with who you are. I'm finding out that more has to do with what's in your blood. What what your your line is, you know, the color of your skin, all this made up stuff, you know. And, well, people aren't handling the karma very well. Fires all over California, floods everywhere. You know, and I still see people hanging out, you know, they get to vacation and, you know, I'm like, how, what's, what is all this to, how can there be so much pain and suffering? And yet still people are freaking going around, whoa, this is wonderful, everything's great, la la la. And I'm like, I don't see it, I just don't see it, it's so weird to me. I'm like, do they not know? I mean, and people are just still focused on, get that sticker, I voted today, dude, my, I've been a minority my whole entire life. Nothing I've ever... I'm a lesbian, you know, that grew up in the 70s that was retarded. I'm not a demographic that anybody gives a fuck about. Neither's my mom, you know? People haven't cared about us in years and years. I mean, they do. They do. They care. Because you see something and you say, Oh, that's sad. I care. I care. I care. I care so much. <laughs> <laughs> all these people, all these Karen Karens. Oh, the Karens that care. And the Carls that care. Don't forget about the Carls that care too. Oh, we care. I was going down to Aunt Hole this morning with the, the universe. The, see, I never, when I was a, in high school, I barely graduated high school. So college, we were so poor. I mean, it was like, hey, no, you ain't never going to college. You ain't never going to go to college. You're crazy you think you're going to college. You're just a dumb girl. So, um, you know, everybody else went off to college out of high school because I always, you know, I went to the smallest high school. There were a bunch of sm smart kids, you know, ones that figured out how to, you know, how to do all the scholarship stuff and all that stuff. And I hated all that stuff. I hated all the, just let me go. Just let me go and, and do what I need to do. But no, people like to put you through hoops to, to weed out the ones that don't want it. And it's like, no, I just, I want it. I just don't want to do all the shit that people make you do to get to do it, you know? Then it's not because I'm lazy. It's because my whole entire life people have put me through hoops because, well, they can. And it's their, you know, you put in it, put anybody in a position of, of power. I don't, it, it could be me. You put me in a position of power. Ultimately, one day I'm going to start running everything, you know, you know, if, if I don't keep my spiritual connectedness grounded and if I don't, keep my prayers and my meditation and all my spiritual disciplines that I have then I could be just like anybody else I'm just like no it's my show it's my show I'm gonna do everything how I want and, you know and when people when they grow in their ego they start doing weird seedy just unimaginative stuff that's what we're seeing on the main stage you know I mean it's really stupid that we I live in a state where the freaking dumb bitch governor it's like trying to keep it closed until October, but she can't handle her shit up in her in, in you know in, in 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 Portland. It's just it's it's just 
and you know but millions and billions of dollars are being passed around still and you know there's how many Oregonians never got their never got their unemployment you know because the system is just a failure the system is a failure and they can't they can't they can't admit that they failed. They can't admit that they don't know what they're doing. So they're going to keep going and staying in there and they're going to keep doing it, putting in implementing rules for they, you know, in, in the name of our own safety. And pretty soon, I mean, the freaking cops are going to be like, dude, we can't <laughs> defend your freaking ignorance. You know, it's the it's the pee in the in the mattress type thing. You know, we can't keep doing it. We can't keep going on acting like Everything is wonderful and all you gotta do is get your election sticker. So I was reading an article this morning about San Diego University, and I'm like, I didn't know that was a freaking Catholic university. Are all Catholic? Are all universities Catholic? Is it all a racket? Is it all a racket? Is it all? If you pay our churches this much money, we'll let you let your kids go to our schools. Is that what it all is? You know, is it all a, a Ponzi scheme? <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So I was like, I read an article about how they quarantined all the uh all this all the like you know it's labor day weekend it's your first year in college you know or second or whatever but you can't everybody stay on camp you can't you can't do anything you know and you're pairing these people to control you we're paying you're paying you're giving these people good freaking money or your parents good money because <laughs> trust fund kids they're the only ones that get to go to college these days <laughs> um or if, if you do like me and like go through the air, sign six years of your life away, go into the military. But so I was looking up the stats of, of and, and they have a uh, universe or freaking, what is it called? San Diego, University of San Diego. They said that they have 40,000 students that, that are, or 30,000 students. But when you go to look up how many students that attend, there's like 6,000. So, okay, that also <laughs> fits into the, my idea that they make up numbers. That there's no way that there's freaking 7 billion people on this planet. If you look on, like, think about just your town, your town that you grew up in. Any, you know, if you're in your 40s like me, I grew up in a town, Redding, California, it's always only had like 90s. 3,000 people less than a, you know, and in the last 20 years, a lot of people left. Some people came in, more people are leaving, I think, the more people are coming in. And all I'm hearing is what a shithole it is now because of the city planners, you know. And I talk, I tell, re I, I, I give the reasons why. And it still just keeps happening. It's still, you just give them all your money. Give them all your money. Alright, come. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. See, I gotta keep it light. See, because I know, <laughs> you know, I was thinking about this this morning I started crying. I was like, I'm always the problem. I'm always the problem in every situation. So when I'm ever I'm mad, I'm the reason why I'm mad. Whoever I'm hurt, I'm the reason why I'm hurt. And when you get to a level of that count of, kind of accountability, it just freaking sucks to know that you're always the problem. And what do you need to do to act better? So we got a lot of people that act better, that just fake. They're just so fake. I'm so, I hate fake people. I fucking hate fake people. And the world is like 90% fake, you know, because of this perpetuated idea of how people need to act and be in civilized society. And it's all a crock. Government, it's all a crock. 
Holly weird? It's all a crock. This whole world is freaking run by creepy freaking pervs, satanic pervs, you know, and and it's being run like that because the rest of us just said, okay, okay, well, so be it. We will just be obedient, and so be it. And might is right, and just you know, keep keep taking from us. You can keep taking from us and spreading people thin, and we'll just see what happens. And now we get, you know, you have all these people that can't handle their emotions and contain their own emotions and so now they're out wreaking havoc because they're all scared inside and stuff well we're all scared but you know what doesn't mean that it gives you the right that you get to freaking blow shit up freaking hurt people all this nastiness and they they're doing it like like there ain't gonna be no reprise like there's no consequences you know they're all doing it like, oh, this is a free will run riot. That's what we got, a whole society of people running riot within their will. Because they don't know how to control themselves. Look around. Look at the, the obesity rakes in the world. People can't even freaking control what goes into their face. You know, as I, 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 I've been getting fit through all this. You know, and you see people that are just getting f not. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get out there and walk around this freaking butt, you know, and then people feel bad about themselves because they, they got extra weight, and so it puts pressure on joints and makes things hurt. And when you hurt, you want to take that on on other people. People are more inclined to do that. They do. It's, it's, it's psychology. I know a lot about psychology. I've been made to talk, go to speak with a lot of psychologists in my life to make sure that I was okay. And I assure you, every single one of them has signed me off with the, with the, with the, with the freaking really strong grasp on the reality of the situations and how they actually are. It's just when I meet people and I give my representations of the reality of situations, but they have lived on a fucking pink cloud their whole goddamn lives and, and, and mommy and daddy have always wiped their ass and paid their way and whenever, you know, bailed them out. I know that. My father was one of them. He had parents that bailed him out. He bailed me out once twice but it was both times it was before I was 21 years old 25 24 I was 25 years old so you know I guess I guess in 46 years I guess I you know and that's the thing is we don't owe our parents anything we don't owe our parents any our, 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 you know we we, we we've been given all these storylines of, of of how things are supposed to be and in the wild how many animals like you're born you're on your own you're hatched. Hope you make it. Turtles. So I love turtles. See turtles. They hatch and then they, you know, not, you know, and, and you think about how many don't make it and make it and all that, you know, and stuff like that. They're just so resilient. They're wonderful. But then you have, you know, these people. I see, God, I see parents on my feed and they just do everything for their kid. I'm like, you are not doing your fucking kid any favor. Oh, when he falls down, do you run up and assure him that everything's going to be okay? You know? I noticed that I've seen that a lot when like a kid falls on his butt when he's learning how to walk you know how does the parents respond that is the early programming is what sets precedence on how that child is gonna freaking use emotion the rest of his life it, you know kid falls down huh. I just like to watch to see how they're gonna do and then like usually if you leave them alone they're like, okay, that wasn't so bad, kind of thing. But it's when you go, oh, baby, and you run toward it. That, notice, that's usually when they start to go, oh. You being played. And then that's when, oh, okay, well, if I cry, then that, oh, okay, that works. See, and you had logical minded like me that is just like, people are like, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. That was drilled in, and, and then so I would tell him myself, I go out and freaking break, I'd go do something, I'd go out and play, and something would break, I'd come back in, I'd be like, I broke, you know, I broke, I broke it, I broke it, I broke it. I'm sorry, you know. Then I'd get in trouble. And, but I always told on myself, because mom always drilled in my head, the truth always comes out, the truth always comes out, the truth always comes out. So I just always busted myself out because people are going to find out anyway. And the thing is, 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 I watch people and I'm like, Mom, how come their truths aren't being found out? I know who they are. How come their truths aren't being found out, Mom? Well, it doesn't always happen in your time. You know, it's always in divine time, God's time. So, you know, and then, you know, years and years go by and freaking 
society it's just all these people just doing what they want doing what they want doing what they want it hurts other people you know when billionaires are freaking not handling just dividing out the tax the, the stimulus that, that 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 the people pay for but they continue to pay them they're millionaires congressmen they're millionaires they're not politician they're millionaires and if you've ever had a conversation with a human being that has had a lot of money they fall flat they fall flat they do. I've, I, I, I used to go on retreats when I was friends with Bill W. And they, and people were like, oh, that lady over there, she's the freaking heiress to freaking, um, she was the heiress to freaking uh, Walgreens. She was like in her 80s, just nuttier than a fucking fruitcake. Try, she was, she, and she had the mind of a little girl because she was always coddled because she always had money so people just did what she want and whatever you know and the same thing happens with with uh i saw it in the military the higher ups the brass they don't fucking know what's really going on they're just being told a narrative based on what the work on, that we're doing on the ground oh yeah everything's great no and then they use they cipher resources in in all these states, and all of this is coming down because we bought it for too long. But too many of us have put the pieces together, and it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And so now we're in the revolution. We've been a lot of us have been talking about it for three years. Well, welcome to the show. While everyone was still, did you catch the big game this week? Go oh, whatever. You know, I fucking hate sports. I hate all the mainstream shit. I'm Native American, you know. I want to go play in the woods and watch animals and, and, and grow food naturally, gardens and things like that, and tend to the elders and teach the kids that are coming up on how to do all these things too. See, because the whole idea of you got to go to school and then you got to, you know, find a spouse and then you got to get married and then you got to have kids and then the kids have to go to school and then the kids have to find spouses and then you got to perpetuate this idea of revenue when there's no spirit in that. So, anywho, I love God. Just like to say that every now and again since I was accused of channeling Satan yesterday and since I am responsible for how I represent myself I just want to put it out there that <laughs> I'm a high vibrational being and and I'm here to help people wake up to the fact that the planet earth ain't what you thought it was time because I live every day the same people see people are like oh I've been shut in since April I've been uh, this is year four for me I've lived the same fucking day three year three because the first year I got to you know I got turned down by a hundred jobs and and freaking still ha you know I, I was <sighs> went through all my saving my 401ks my my 3d earth shit I had to freaking use the rest of that before freaking universe God picked me up and said nope you're gonna be a part part of this world no more you can have no friends it's just going to be you, your mom, and your dogs. You know, you can try and make friends, but ain't nobody coming in because it's just not your time yet. <sighs> you know, keep trying to find a job, Marge, but you're not going to find one because it's just not your time yet, you know. <sighs> so, and I keep hearing about how it's my time and it's almost my time. And then, I, you know, and it's, you just got to stay present. You just got to stay present. Just get through this day. These days are just this day. It's just getting. That's what this day is until I find out where I can go, and then I can freaking load up my shit and drive down the road and never come back to Oregon because Oregon doesn't fucking want me here anyway. <laughs> and I was too slow to figure that out. So, wouldn't that be cool if they just paid me to go? Wouldn't that be cool? You know, people just. You know, if like I was like when I was in the military, because all the military officers, you move in the military, they don't move you around as much anymore. They keep you at the same base for a long time. But back in the day, they just freaking, and we pay for all of it. We pay for everything the military does. 
We pay for all of that. That's why, like, you know, the families that you're working three, four jobs just to keep a roof over your head and food on the table for your family, and you don't get vacations every year. You don't get to go to do all the fun places and do all the fun shit. No, because your days are the same providing for your family, right? Why all those taxes that you're paying goes to freaking, you know, these, you know, billion-dollar budgets, million-dollar budgets to say, vote for me. Vote for a system that's never worked. Give us all your money. Put all your faith in well, in the one basket in which is us. And then <laughs> see what happens when you walk off the, cl the cliff, you freaking sheeple. <laughs> you know, so some of us are trying to make a society that is more based on grassroots stuff. The, the previous, the, the, the heart space of which this country was supposed to be before any freaking pale face came over and, and, and started inserting their freaking swinging dick ideology. You know, because all lands are taken at some point. You know, I mean, I mean, it's just like, you know, we've taken this land where human beings are migrational people. So people in South America, Central America can't, people have always like animals. They migrate north and south, migrate north and south. It's people that said, no, we're going to put a, a, a we're going to put a border here and a border here and fuck all your natural inclinations because now we got rules and regulations in place. Yeah. And now you got to pay for all this stuff. Well, what's money? Oh, it's this outside idea that we're bringing into it because that's what civilized people do. Oh, really? Because I, I can trade and barter and stuff like that. It doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm an I'm a, I'm a IT professional. You got, you got tech issues? I can help you with your tech issues. You got, I'm a mechanic. Diesel engine mechanic, gas, you know, fuel systems, air systems, pneumatics, all of them. You know? Wiring systems, electron, you know, all of it. What else? I'm a freaking wonderful cook. Mom loves my food. What else? Make badass can of cookies. I'm a photographer. I mean, there, what don't I have to bring to the table? Yet still, the world just says, oh, no, it's just not ready for you at March. So enjoy your third year of not having it, you know, being able to go in and take a shower anytime when you're to cool off or, you know, or whatever, you know, enjoy all that. Enjoy, enjoy your, your, your spiritness, Marge. I feel like I'm being punished sometimes. I do. Okay, Marge, you want to be a spiritual being? Go be a spirit because there ain't no place for earthly being or there ain't no place for those on this earth. So it's kind of what it feels like sometimes. <laughs> uh... Yeah, there shouldn't be, but there sure is, aren't aren't there? There sure is just one group, just one group in charge. And we just get to go along. Yeah, you know, uh, what if we all just walk around? Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Money. Yes, master. Money. Yes, master. Authority. 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 I freaking hate authority, man. I, and but the thing is, I'm a peaceful being. I don't put my hands. I'll talk shit. I'll just be like, oh, you know, because I feel I pick up on things on people. So freaking people talk shit to me. I just go right to where it hurts, if, you know, if you're going to freaking attack me like that. But, yeah. the world isn't fun for me today. <laughs> it might be later on. It's early yet. It's 10 o'clock, and uh, <sighs> I just to get tired. I get tired because I want. there's plenty of shit that I want to go out and do in the world. There's plenty of stuff I want to do. I would love to just, you know go off in the world for like two three days without any kind of responsibility without just with only thinking about me what what, what? that's not my role because I'm a I'm a daughter first so just keep doing right by her and everything else will work out fine right yeah Life is an empath. People want to be an empath. Oh, I'm an I'm empath. I'm an empath. I'm an empath. No, you're fucking not. You're just a person that says you're an empath. Because if all these peoples were really empathic, like they said they were, the fucking world wouldn't be the place that it's in. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. So people say that they're things. But the heart space doesn't match up to their words. And then that's how we have fake people. Yeah. 
So I guess I'm okay with not having friends today because in real life, it's nice to have friends in the internet that people come into my It's nice. I would not have anybody if I, if I did not have those connections. Still is not tangible. We are human beings. We're supposed to touch. We're supposed to be around each other. We're supposed to engage. So all this shit is not from a human being. Just consider it that way. So anyone that tries to control you, that is a lower vibrational frequency, man. That's all Lucy shit, man. That's all Lucy shit. It's all of it is Lucy shit. But people are, you know, people are going to churches and you're really praising Lucy. And you think you're praising God because you don't know. Because you take other people's words for gospel. Instead of, I always thought it was so freaking weird, Catholic churches. I always thought it was weird because they're like, here, drink uh, the the blood of Christ in the in the flesh of of Jesus's flesh. That's cannibalistic. That's that is can. If you are and if you think that you, and there's extremists in in every group, and you have people go, that's not what they mean. That's exactly what they mean. You are drinking the representation of blood of Christ and eating the representation of His flesh. But that's not what they mean. No, because that's what you don't want them to think that they mean. But that is what they mean. <laughs> you know? People are fine. Go look at the Jesuit oath. Go look at the Jesuit oath. Newsom's a Jesuit. I worked at a Jesuit university. And it freaking... I hated it. I left. I worked there five years. I worked two years on the university side to get all the... You know, of how hospitals are. The medical field, it's all codes and fucking fluff and making up shit and, and, and doctors that are there sometimes and it's just, it's, it's just stupid. I don't, I don't, <laughs> and then so I went to the university size and it was such a misogynistic environment. I was freaking uncomfortable every day. It was just, and, and then I had a boss, oh, <laughs> JD. I had a boss every year that the College World Series would come into town because they, they rebuilt, it was like less than a block, or it was less than a mile from where the campus was, you know. They're like, well, we got to lock down the wireless network real, real tight so that the, the, the human traffickers and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the kid traffickers can't use our networks. And I was like, seems like there'd be a way that you could, like, cooperate with authorities and maybe catch some people, but I guess if it's good for endowments Omaha has a lot of dirty stuff going on College World Series see because it's right there it's the main hub you have all those small communities where the man camps are and they get freaking young little freaking morsels brought into them for morale you know in the story of all those oil you know fracking all wherever there's man camps all over you want to know where your kids are going? You want to know that? Yeah, it's all, you know, big, big sports. It's all. People are walking around like this. No, 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 no. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah. My whole life, I'm like Rosie McGowan. My whole life is based on events that people have said that isn't real. I was raped when I was 10 months old. And that was just the beginning. And I'm just a statistic. I'm just one of many that this stuff has happened to. That have lived to survive to tell the tale. You know? And then, and then we're just constantly freaking kicked in the teeth and snapped in the face because, well, that stuff doesn't happen. Yeah, that stuff doesn't happen. And people say that, so that stuff, in fact, can continue to happen. And it's, it's 2020, it's the year in clear vision, and people don't want to live this way anymore. So, you know, I guess look actively, freaking look it up yourself or don't. This, the reality of the situations of the stuff is very, very true. And we can't get past it until people acknowledge it and help people heal help help us trauma kids heal okay because if you don't you you don't start the healing then you're just gonna you're gonna add more to the rage and the fire of society and that's what we're happening you know you can't tell you know you can't take all the stuff that makes people feel okay away and then continue to tell them oh, they're okay they're not it, it's just Cognitive dissidence is a, is a, is at a as at a focal point right now. So, I recommend people meditate. Find a peace within your side yourself. Find a God, higher power. You know, don't make another person your higher power. Cause people are just gonna disappoint you. I'm gonna di I disappoint people every day. 
I'm just a huge disappointment. I don't know. People don't need to, <laughs> you know. <sighs>